Hey friends, Tracy Coons here. I wanted to share a few stories about Chris Jones that I remember from the backpacking trail. So my first trip with the guys, um, we drive up to Colorado, we get up in the morning, we drive through the night. So we get up in the morning and go to a restaurant to eat breakfast. And there's 12 of us around this big long table and he's sitting at the end of the table and the waitress goes up and says, may I take your order, sir? But he's looking at the menu and he says, no, go around to the other guys first and come back to me last, okay? So she does, she goes around, takes everybody's order, comes back to him and he says, just bring me an empty plate, <laughs> okay? So anyway, what he knew that all the rest of us didn't necessarily suspect was that when they brought out the food, it was heaping mounds of food. It was huge proportions, right? And we all eat and there's plenty left over on our plates and he just passes his plate around and everybody scoops off some of their leftovers and he had a big mounding plate of food and uh, she ate as well as the rest of us, but he left that place with his wallet a little fatter than the rest of us. So anyway, that's a little piece of the wisdom from Chris Jones. Another story on the same trip, um, we backpacked up in high and we pitched our camp. And then the next day we got up to do some just light day hacking. And I hiked up to this ridge with him, not quite up on a ridge, but there was a pond up where we were. And we're standing over there look, overlooking the valley, including our camp. And uh, we're all loaded up with sunscreen and bug spray and we've been sweating and all that kind of stuff. And I glanced over at him and he's got this cone of mosquitoes just circling his head. They're not landing, but they're circling his head. And I looked up, they're not over my head, they're over his head. It's like he had a halo or something. Of course, he deserves a halo, but I didn't think it would be of mosquitoes. <laughs> but anyway, they didn't land, but I don't know. He's an attractive guy, right? Another story I remember of Chris was on my first backpacking trip. Um, I told all the guys leading up to the trip and during the trip that I am a Pepsi-holic. I was then anyway. Now I'm a waterholic, but anyway, uh, I couldn't get enough Pepsi and I was concerned about the trip because there's no way you want to load up a bunch of Pepsi in a pack like this for a 10 day outing, you know, it'd be way too heavy. So I was just kind of dealing with, you know, um, not having my Pepsi and about five or six days into the trip, I don't remember how long it was, we hiked up Mount Harvard and we're sitting on top of this mountain, just kind of taking in the sights and I'm sitting down on a rock and looking around. Chris is behind me and I hear this, pss, right? And I turn around and he starts chugging a Pepsi that he packed in, I guess because he heard that I love Pepsi. So he's just chugging away and I'm going, oh man. And he got about halfway done with it and he hands it to me, here, do you want some? So I got half of his Pepsi with all the backwash and everything. But anyway, he was really messing with me, but that's very much like Chris Jones. Another story I remember from the trail, um, we hiked up in, and I think a couple of others were hiking in a little later. We had a camper down at the trailhead, so that you know that's where we could uh, sleep overnight right before packing in for the day, and uh, and kind of refresh all our, have all our stuff in there. But anyway, we hiked back down and realized the keys to the camper were still up with another group, ten miles up the mountain or so. So here we were. I think it was just Gerald and Chris and I, maybe maybe others, but anyway, we got down and realized the camper is locked, right? So we kind of thought, well, what can we do? So we start kind of trying to slide the windows and sure enough, one of the windows was, we were able to slide it open, but it's only about this high. It's a real narrow window. And so we looked around among us who are here and I thought I was skinny, but Chris Jones was able to get up on a cooler that we had under the camper stand on that thing and start kind of leaning into that window and Gerald helped lift his feet up and slide him in and by golly that guy got into a window about six inches high or so and got us unlocked and into the camper so very few people could pull that off 